The Tinian Pass Transfer Dilemma Chelsea need to shell to solve after the international break. Chelsea completed a loan signing of Sony Gaz on transfer deadline day, but the Spaniard has yet to make an impression at Sanford Bridge. It is around lunchtime on transfer deadline day that Sony Gaz has to accept a move away from Atletico Madrid was not going to happen. Chelsea had made an effort to secure the services of the Spaniard, but hadn't been able to strike an agreement. Yet, were hurriedly preparing the necessary to the Premier League to secure the season long loan signing of Saul. It was so rushed as it was dramatic. I thought this is not going to come in, and that's it. It has been a long afternoon and night. So, towards Twitch streamer Ibai Lanos after securing his move to Stamford Bridge. My wife was very nervous and we have had some very complicated days. This decision is not easy. Leaving my home in a new adventure is complicated. What allowed Chelsea to secure the signing of Saul was Atletico's own transfer deadline day move. The La Liga champions had decided to bring Antoine Griezmann back to the Wanda Metropolitana from Barcelona and needed to make room in their wage bill. So, one of the club's highest earners was sacrificed. It was a deal that appeared to suit all parties. Chelsea got the fourth midfielder Thomas Tuchel wanted. Atletico moved so off their books temporarily. The midfielder was free to kickstart his career in London. That Saul arrived at Chelsea in the middle of an international break helped the Spaniard settle in and called him. He spent more than a week training under Tuchel and was thrown into the starting eleven for the visit of Aston Villa to Stamford Bridge. It didn't go well. Throughout this debut 45 minutes, Saul gave away possession constantly and was simply not attuned to the pace of the English game. His substitution at half time was one of mercy of the part of Tuchel, who wisely decided to take responsibility for the Spade international struggles. Tuchel's decision in the week seems to betray that statement, however, Saul has played just once more for Chelsea, and that was in the Carabao Cup third round. Consistently, once again against Aston Villa, he didn't complete. 19 minutes in that game either. When Saul joined Chelsea, he expected to be behind N'Golo Kante, Jorginho and Matteo Kovacic in a midfield packing order. Rightly so, given that the trio all played key roles in the Blue Seas Champions League win last season. Yet what the Atletico Leone would not have anticipated is Ruben Loftus-Cheek and even Rose Barkley are sure peeing him in the packing order. Tuchel turned to both against Juventus and Southampton prior to the international break while Saul sat on the bench. He does not need to worry, the Chelsea head coach said, just work hard and adapt and the chances will come. We have only 11 to give a chance I would like to see in it in a positive way. The situation Saul finds himself in at Chelsea begs two questions. The first is how Tuchel can give him minutes in the weeks ahead, especially given Kante. Kovacic and Jorginho are all fit and love to chic have been very impressive in the double six. And the second, and perhaps more important, is whether Chelsea needed Saul in the first place. The common consensus towards the later was yes, but largely because few expected love to chic to be given a prominent role. Why? Well, the 25-year-old didn't set the world alight on loan at Fulham following a serious Achilles injury, so must have been a busted flush.